around 89, 90-ish, you began doing uh, enhancement enhancement work with uh, the WWF and uh, fought some. I mean, I, I looked at some of the, the matches on Superstars, and, and in high sight, I'm like, holy cow, that would have been a – you know, main event anywhere in the country. What was your initial experience working uh, enhancement work with the WWF and, and how did that come about? That was in 88 and 89. That was great. I loved it, man. It was awesome. That's when, that's how I learned what was going on. I mean, I was going to school beating the shit out of each other. You know, <laughs> me and my boys, you know, we were, we were going to wrestling school and no lie. I mean, we were chopping like they do on television right now. We were doing that in our school. We didn't care. We didn't give a shit. I would do, I don't know, 500 bumps a night, whatever I could do, you know, until I didn't feel anything. And then next thing you know, I mean, Larry's like, all right, listen, guys, I want you to drive to Niagara Falls. You know, it's about an eight-hour ride. Get in your cars, you know, a couple guys, and let's go. About six, seven guys, go. Get some experience. So we went up there, <clears throat> introduced ourselves. Uh, worked that night. Uh, everybody had to work different people. Uh, they put me and Anthony together. They didn't even know we were a tag team. Okay? Like, they had no idea we were even thinking about being a tag team. This is before we even went away to wrestle in New Zealand. Okay? This is, you know, in that same area here, but we didn't go to New Zealand yet. So, you know, they put me and Anthony together. And we were like, okay, this is cool. You know what I mean? Like we were doing some tag stuff anyway, but this is now we're now we get to work the Heart Foundation tag team. Now let's see what you know if it clicks and see what happens. You know. So every time you know they liked us and they ended up hiring us and they wanted to use us when they were in the area, and we accepted that because it's we we were getting experience because after that first night of work. And the Hart Foundation was the first team we went against as a team. We realized, holy shit, this is how you work. Not what we're doing in school. What we're doing in schools, we're learning shit, but we're beating each other up. We're not taking care of each other. This is different. Like, that's when I learned. I mean, when I got in the ring with Akeem and the boss man, I let the boss man handcuff me and beat the shit out of me with that nightstick. I didn't feel a thing. You know what I mean? And I sold that like he was killing me. And... When Akeem hit me with an elbow, I totally disappeared. You didn't see my body. I was gone. It's like he gave me an elbow into the dust. I turned to dust. That's how vicious it looked. And I didn't feel a thing. That's when I realized, holy shit. Now I know. Now I understand how it is to work all these nights every night in a row. You know, I didn't. I, I wasn't in a territory yet where I was wrestling six nights a week yet. But now I understood. I said to myself, Oh, this is how you work. And that's how you can go six nights a week and do this. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I learned a lot. A lot. And the shit I seen there was unbelievable. Crazy shit. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. And click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.